Stories and content in Weird Darkness can be disturbing for some listeners and is intended for mature audiences only. Parental discretion is strongly advised. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From AllThat'sInteresting.com Evidence of Roman-era necromancy practices to speak with the dead found in a cave near Jerusalem by Austin Harvey While excavating a cave near Jerusalem, researchers recently uncovered the remains of ancient human skulls, oil lamps, and spearheads. Now, they believe these artifacts may indicate that the site was used during the Roman era in rituals meant to communicate with the dead, a practice known as necromancy or death magic. According to a study published in the Harvard Theological Review, researchers believe these macabre rituals date back to between the 2nd and 4th centuries AD in a cave just 20 miles west of Jerusalem known as Teomim Cave. The cave itself has served as the backdrop for numerous legends and real-life conflicts due to its natural spring water and large caverns. Visitors have traveled to Teomim Cave since at least the Chalcolithic period, and it served as a hideout for Jewish rebels during the Bar Kokhba revolt in the 2nd century AD. Evidence now suggests that the cave also served as a site for necromantic pagan cult worship. The Teomim Cave in the Jerusalem Hills has all the cultic and physical elements necessary to serve as a possible portal to the underworld, the researchers said in the study. Most of the objects discovered in hard-to-reach crevices in the Teomim Cave were used in one way or another for sorcery and magic in caves perceived as possible portals to the underworld. Their purpose was to predict the future and conjure up the spirits of the dead. Researchers discovered more than a hundred ceramic oil lamps, but only three human skulls so far. Because of this, they hypothesize that the primary focus of the cultic ceremony revolved around depositing oil lamps for chthonic forces, forces inhabiting the underworld, possibly to attempt to raise the dead or predict the future. The Romans considered necromancy to be evil and banned the practice throughout much of the Roman Empire. But speaking with live science, Boaz Zisu, study co-author and archaeologist at Bar Ilan University in Israel, explained that many ancient cities had secret nearby oracle sites where people believed the line between the realms of the living and the dead became blurred. Here, they would attempt to commune with the dead. There, they found perfect conditions, Zisu said. It's a bit remote, but not so far from the main road. It's deep, but not very deep and it has a deep shaft at the end that they regarded as a connection to the underworld. When researchers discovered the numerous artifacts at the site, including the human skulls, weapons, coins, and oil lamps, they found them tucked away in small crevices, suggesting that those who partook in these rituals intended to keep them a secret. Still, the researchers acknowledged that determining the precise nature of these magical practices is difficult when looking purely at the archaeological record. Identifying magical practices and the archaeological evidence is not simple, they wrote in the study. Magical practice is used in ritual acts that are undertaken mainly by individuals to achieve a desired effect. Sometimes the practices should be carried out in a specific location or require the use of specific material culture. Therefore, to locate magic in the archaeological context, we must trace material evidence for those practices. To further support their hypothesis, the researchers looked to classical literary sources and documentary evidence to identify items that were often used in magic rituals. The presence of human and animal bones, for example, indicate that the ritual intended to establish a connection to the deceased, and household items were often repurposed for magical use. Oil lamps were a key component of necromantic practices as well. While they were certainly used for everyday purposes by the ancient Romans, the large quantity of oil lamps found at Teomim Cave can indicate a ritual context. The use of oil lamps for divination, lycnomancy or lampidomancy, was extremely widespread in the classical periods, according to the researchers. The prophetic force behind the lamp was believed to be a spirit of spirits, or in some cases even gods or demons. Divination by means of oil lamps was done by watching the flame and interpreting the shapes created by the flame. A boy usually served as medium. Greek papyri and other classical literature frequently makes mention of the use of oil lamps for necromancy or speaking with the dead, 
sometimes including evocations to deities that ask them to speak through the lamp's flames. Such examples can be found in the writings of Pliny the Elder. In light of all of this, the researchers wrote, we can propose with due caution that necromancy ceremonies took place in the Teomum Cave in the late Roman period, and that the cave may have served as a local oracle for this purpose. While it may be impossible to know the full extent of the necromantic rituals that occurred in Teomum Cave, the researchers believe that this analysis of the items recovered from the site is an outstanding test case worth examining within the developing discipline of the archaeology of magic. Find the link to the original story, which also contains photos of the find, in the show notes. And find more news in the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com. Hey Weirdos! Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week. And while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at WeirdDarkness.com slash listen.